If you have positional vertigo, the Epley maneuver is one of the best ways you can get relief. However, if you can't tolerate lying on your back or the maneuver just didn't work for you, I'm gonna show you another way you could potentially get relief using the Seamont maneuver. In order to do this maneuver effectively, you need to know which side is your problem ear. You're gonna use the Dix Hall Pike maneuver. Check out my Epley maneuver video for details on how to go through that and to determine which side is your problem side. For the sake of the video, we're going to assume it's my right, so I'm gonna start by going to my right side. I wanna turn my head 45 degrees away from the involved side, so I'm gonna go 45 degrees to my left, and then I'm gonna lie down on my side. And a study in 2016 showed if you're a little bit beyond, about 10 degrees beyond horizontal, you get some added benefit. So fear not if your head hangs down. You wanna stay here until your dizziness subsides completely or at least 30 seconds. The next step is the most important part of the maneuver, and that's where we're gonna move from this right side all the way over to the left side without resting and doing it as fast as possible. And that's where the magic happens and we move that crystal out of that canal. Same thing, stay here until the dizziness goes away, plus a little longer or at least 30 seconds. From there, you'll sit up straight, keep your head to the side, straighten it out, and then just stay seated for five to 10 minutes. You wanna to try to probably stay upright for several hours after doing the maneuver. Now, one thing I will say, because the speed in that maneuver can make people very anxious, we usually recommend that you do it with a therapist nearby or someone to supervise. Also, studies have shown that this maneuver is not quite as effective when you do it alone as it is with a therapist, whereas you can get pretty significant results doing the Epley maneuver on your own. After completing the maneuver, make sure you sleep elevated for about 45 degrees and avoid any type of maneuvering of your head that provokes your symptoms for the next several days. If you go through the maneuver two to three days later and you don't have any problems, you're good to go. I'm Tim Rementer, doctor of physical therapy and a movement project. We try to cut out unnecessary surgery and treatment by showing you tips like the one in this video to help you get relief. To watch another video showing you how to do a popular home exercise for vertigo, click up here. Subscribe to the channel for more pain relieving tips, click down here. If you wanna keep improving, you gotta keep it moving.